Good day, everyone. This is a severe and cold weather briefing for Saturday, April 12th through Tuesday, April 15th. Here are the main headlines that are expected over the next few days. A few severe thunderstorms may occur in western Oklahoma and western North Texas near a dry line Saturday afternoon and evening. Some severe storms are likely on Sunday, mainly along a cold front. Damaging winds and large hail are expected to be the main hazards. Right now, it appears the tornado threat will be low on Sunday. Windy and colder weather will move into the area Sunday night into Monday, and frost and or freeze is possible Monday night into Tuesday morning. To begin on Saturday afternoon in the early evening, a few thunderstorms may develop along a dry line in western Oklahoma. Capping may be quite strong, so there may not be any storms at all, but if storms can develop, they would be capable of producing large hail up to the size of golf balls and damaging wind gusts up to 70 miles an hour. There's a higher chance for severe storms on Sunday. Expecting some severe storms, mainly in the form of a squall line, to move through the area between 3 p.m. and midnight. Damaging winds to 70 miles an hour and hail up to golf balls appear to be the main hazards. Right now, it does appear that the tornado potential remains low. Cold front will be moving through the area on Sunday, north to south, and progression will be mainly during the afternoon and evening hours. Behind the front, expect gusty north winds with gusts near 50 miles an hour, if not perhaps higher, and an abrupt temperature drop, perhaps 20 to 30 degrees in one hour behind the cold front. Moving ahead to Monday, it'll be a chilly day with cloudy skies, strong north winds. Uh, temperatures will struggle to get out of the 40s in most locations, and the strong winds and the cold temperatures will combine to create wind chills in the 20s and 30s for much of the day. As we head into Monday night and Tuesday morning, the combination of light winds and clearing skies will allow cold conditions to occur, and therefore low temperatures will be in the 30s which could actually enhance the potential for frost and freeze. So it may be a good idea to protect tender vegetation if the growing season has begun in your area. Monitor our webpage for the latest information. You can follow us on Facebook as well as Twitter and YouTube briefings.